my beautiful queens and handsome kings. How you all doing? This is a new vlog. Today is Saturday. How you all doing? Um, I'm just so thankful and blessed. These, Like I said, these last couple of days, I've been, you know, under the weather, sick. Um, I end up, I was supposed to went back to work Tuesday and Wednesday, but I had to um, call in Tuesday. And then my supervisor told me, you know, if, if you still feel sick, you could just take the next day off. So I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, I pray everybody had a great Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving was, it was beautiful, lovely. I made the best out of it, even though I was sick. Most of the times, um, I just stayed in my room, but I did, you know, got up, helped clean up, ate and stuff like that. So, you know, it was still a wonderful day. But I just want to say, hey, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. See, I got to say handsome because I don't want, I might have men's watching my channel and I don't want them to be like, we're not, you know, Beautiful, you know, men don't usually like for um, us women to address them as being beautiful. But like I say, in God's imagery, all beautiful in his eyes. So I always like to, you know, acknowledge people beautiful because, you know, you are beautiful in your own way. So as you can see in the last cup, I end up just making me a, um, yeah. Look look at my, my iced latte. I might start doing me some lattes. Mm-hmm. It's really good. I um, I didn't really have a taste for coffee coffee today, even though the latte is coffee. So I was looking yesterday on YouTube how to, you know, learn how to make um, ice lattes and ice coffees. Well, really, I know how to make my own iced coffee at home because all I do is just take my coffee maker, brew the coffee, let it chill, put ice cubes on it, pour it, you know, dress it up. If you like it strong, you just pour it over ice and then, I, you know, if you want cream in it. So a regular iced coffee for me is is simple because I already have my own coffee maker. But this particular day, which you just probably seen me doing the last cliff before I came in, all I did was just took some regular, I ended up buying me some Folgers, but I just ended up taking this little small coffee. I just took like maybe two tablespoons out and put it in a little, um, in a little glass you all see me use, and I add a little water, and I stirred it up. That was that was the espresso, and I heated it in the microwave for like a few seconds. So, yeah, that what I use for that. That's that's what the YouTube channel I was looking at was showing, saying that that's all the espresso is is number um coffee and water. And I learned a lot yesterday by looking at it because I was trying to figure out how can I make me a nice iced latte or. You know, if I wanted to do it warm without a machine, because I don't have a machine. And then far as like, if I want to do a warm ice latte, I would do the same method itself. I would heat the milk up this time. But uh, when I say that, that latte, it tastes just like a latte. You know, even though I just, you know, I took the coffee, did see is, and then, you know, I add my milk in it. But it tastes just like a regular latte. It's good too, y'all. But, um... Yeah, because I'm going to have to be my own barista um, these next couple of weeks because, like I said, it's getting close, you know, close to the holidays. Christmas, you know, it's going to be right around the corner, so I got to do what I got to do. As long as I got me some coffee here and I keep me some milk, I'm just stay when I'm out, stay stocked up on it, you know, because sometimes I like to drink my lattes with half and half, too, if I don't get almond milk, so I'm just stay stocked up on milk. And there we go. I even end up making for earlier, you all saying we had for breakfast, we had... Um, French, yeah, French toast and, um, bacon. My daughter, she had some eggs. I didn't want no eggs. So I ended up, the, I supposed to have made some more caramel syrup for my coffee. It ended up coming out like, um, it came out like regular syrup. So I just said, you know what, we're going to use that for our pancakes. I mean, our pancakes and, you know, French toast and stuff like that. Cause I don't, I didn't have no syrup on hand anyway. So it tastes just like syrup. Like I say, I'm trying to get more back into doing some of the things the old traditional way when I don't have it. Like they say, you have to use, you know, what you got on hand to, you know, to make the process even easier. So whatever you got at home that you can use to substitute out to make a meal or, you know, whatever. That's how I'm thinking right now. Because, like I say, I, I can't just go out every time I run out of some bad something if I know how to make it. Because I already, I've been knew how to make karma ice in any way. Um, because you all seen in one of my previous videos where I made some karma icing. So, um, yeah, it just, this time when I made the icing, I ended up putting a little bit too much water. Because, see, the regular karma way I would make, yeah, the regular karma way I would use to make is the milk, the butter, and the sugar. But that's the kind of karma I would make for when I'm doing the cake. But for my coffee, I didn't want to do butter. 
So I looked at a YouTuber as well on how to make caramel icing for coffee. And, you know, she just used the brown and sugar and, and then add a little water and let it get thick. And it actually came out just like caramel, too, without the butter. So it was really good. But like I say, I'm going to enjoy that latte. But, yeah. Yeah, when I say these these little vases, I'm going to put these in my room. They're going to be sitting on my table. When I say these came out nice, these are my little Christmas vases uh, for my room because you all know I'm trying to, um, you know, like I say, every year I normally have a Christmas. My, I got my little Christmas tree, and I'm going to show you all that. We got to get it decorated. Um, I think my daughter, she wanted to decorate. Really, the tree already got decorations on. I'm thinking about just putting the reindeers on the on those trees. Let her do it if she wants to. But yeah, I like the way these vases came out. And these, yeah, these actually was old wine bottles. I recycle wine bottles, and I like to do stuff like this. I spray paint it. You know, see if I got the spray paint off of Amazon. But yeah, when I say I like doing arts and craft, and I'm gonna try to include that more in my channel. These little vases came out nice, and when Christmas, when um, not Christmas, well, when New Year's is over with, I think I'm gonna just take the red out and keep the gold, white, and silver in there for you know for my centerpieces for those, cause those, those, those flowers look nice in them. When I say. the tree i know my tree look like charlie brown tree y'all don't laugh at me but like i said I, I like this tree i had this tree now for three from three three years now going on three years that's how the bottom of the tree made but i think it's cute because like i say it's on it's in my room anyway up here this is a picture that i have made of my great grandmother she's deceased uh you know holidays don't feel the same without her so I always like to keep, you know, keep this on my tree in memory of her. So she's she's the star. She's the star of my tree. Look at her. I miss her so much. Yeah, she taught me how to cook and everything. Yeah, very sweet person. But, you know, I know she with the Lord. Yeah, that's her. And I just took this, like I said, these old decorations, this from... Last year, my mom bought these little balls right here, and they perfect. She said, you know what? I'm going to give them to you for your tree, so I really didn't have to worry about putting no hooks on it. So I just end up putting it right down the tree. So I got a fruit. I'm going to turn the tree around a little bit for y'all can see it. So one side, it probably looked like I got more gold. But, yeah, that's the tree, y'all. I bought it from Family Dollar a couple years ago. There was a Family Dollar downtown by my job. And it went out of business and they had, you know, the tree and all that stuff. So I thought this was cute. I keep this tree every year. I just, you know, put it in my, um, store it in a bag and put it in my closet. And then let go the vases sitting behind it. But yeah, this is my little table, y'all.
they I end up there they go that's how they look I end up had the um they had like little cardboards and my daughter wrote their names on there I kind of wish she would have wrote her full name Kanaya but we call her Naya so it's fine Jacob that's my nephew and it's hard to see his sister named Genovia but yeah those are the stockings I think I must um like I say next week when I get the rest of the stuff for the to create the decorations in here I might try to see if um Walgreens got some candy canes or some type of candy I can put inside those um in their stockings and try to find like some little toys too to put in there i know for sure for my daughter even though she's 14 she really don't play with dolls no more but for hers i probably can put like a little um you know each all of them i'm gonna put probably a coloring book in there probably like a coloring book um some mechanical pencils um she like making stuff be making each one gonna have like some type of toys and little treats inside there and even if they don't have um candy canes, I probably end up like probably just get like some charm lollipop suckers, them little charm suckers with the bubble gun because they like those as well. Okay, you all. So I end up just taking the reindeer. I put one right here. Really pretty. Put the other one right there up on that cabinet. And then this one right here is real cute. Got the little uh, bow around his neck I put it right there and stuck that nail in there I might have to put it in there some more but yeah with the rest of the space and like with this cabin I'm gonna probably gonna do the balls take the drawing balls right here I'm gonna put some right here yeah yeah but I think it I think they they really came out cute because I was looking at the reindeer size I'm like nah they ain't gonna be able to fit on my tree and then my tree is kind of small and those the rain the reindeers is pretty big size my like I say my tree you all say how my tree is I didn't want to overdo it I think they look cute in here in the kitchen I know my mama gonna like it because she like when I decorate but yeah um the little spaces the little areas I showed you at I might like I said I know I ain't got no tape but one of the reindeer pictures I'm gonna probably like I say um I'm gonna look and see if we got some little thumbtacks that I can put put on there. If yeah, I'm gonna look in the bag because I know I just hung the the last reindeer up with the two antlers that y'all just seen on the cabinet by itself. I use a nail on um, to hang it up. So I'm gonna look back in that bag and see maybe if I got like some thumbtacks in there. But yeah, I think I might want to hang um that picture when I get through coloring. Uh, I'm gonna cut it out as well. Uh, that that reindeer right there, bad. But I think it's 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 starting to come along. Um, but yeah, like I said, once I get the decorations and you all to see the whole full, you know, look of how the kitchen came out.
Okay, you all, I'm back, and as you can see, I finished the reindeer up, so I probably, um, I'm gonna cut it, cut it out. Um, I'll probably just do that off camera. Um, also, I know I had told you all earlier with my lattes and iced coffees, I normally, because really I normally prefer um, either 1% milk, almond milk, or um, half and half but i know you all probably seen me pull whole milk in my coffee the little corner store by my house for some reason they don't really sell the milk with the blue top on it for some reason because that's or two percent i like two percent too that's the milk i prefer over whole milk but like i said that was the only milk they had and i really needed some milk for my coffee but yeah i prefer two percent one percent almond milk and half and half any day over whole milk but most time if the store don't have you know those four choices I usually just have to, you know, get the whole milk because I don't know, for some reason, whole milk, it seemed very, very sweet to me, even though milk is good for your bones. Um, it's just too sweet. So that's how I read most of the drink in the house anyway. I know I'm just normally about 2% anyway, because my daughter, like I say, for her syrup, she, you know, she had to have that kind of milk. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all. But um, I, I, I think the reindeer picture came out pretty cute. I, I like it. Yeah, really, really pretty. Chris, Christmas light for Christmas holiday. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog off right here. I hope and um, hope that you all enjoy, you know, watching this vlog. Um, if you do like the vlog, um, also don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, you all. You all have a great rest of the day and um a great week upcoming week and you all continue to stay safe and i'm i'm gonna keep you all you all stay prayed up i'm gonna keep you all lifted in my prayers because i know you know it's 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 challenging times right now but you know what everything everything gonna be all right because like i say greater is ahead greater is coming but you all have a great rest of the day and i love you all and thank you so much for watching Mwah. love you all Thank you.